Give it to him. Shut up, Meg. Shut up, Meg. <laughs> Shut up Meg is an enduring and iconic catchphrase within the Family Guy series. It's arguably the most successful recurring gag in the show. This place is awesome! Totally! Mom, guess what? I just found out I got that internship at Mayor West's office! Surprisingly, the origins of this phrase don't date back to the earliest seasons of Family Guy. The first complete instance of this phrase appeared in Season 4, Episode 23. It happened when Meg excitedly shared the news of her getting new job at Mayor West's office. Hey Meg, if you're working for the mayor, you know what that means? Even you're doing better than Brian. <laughs> <laughs> hey everybody, Brian's the new Meg. <laughs> <laughs> Brian's the new Meg. Brian's the new Meg. Yeah, you're the new me. Shut up, Meg. This phrase has deep symbolic significance, reflecting Meg's status within the show. It encapsulates her role as the underappreciated and often ridiculed member of the Griffin family. Are you unloved? Do you feel like no one cares about you? Meg, your mother made soup for you. Here you go, honey. Ah! Well, you know who does love you? The Lord. Here's your milk. Yet, Meg's character didn't start this way. Initially, they portrayed her as a beloved daughter who could sway her father with her charm. Okay, look, Dad is really easy. All you have to do is sit on his lap, give him a big kiss on the cheek, look him right in the eye, and he's butter. <gasps> There's Craig Hoffman! Oh, Meg's transformation into the unloved, unfortunate, and ugly character we now know took shape around Season 4. I'm back. I brought another picnic. You're such a good listener. You're not like the other boys. <laughs> You're so good with animals. Mom, Dad... Am I ugly? Yeah, where'd you get a stupid idea like that? Craig Hoffman. Craig, uh, Craig Hoffman said that? Well, he's a sharp kid. You might be ugly. <laughs> That's right, Tom. Some lucky hideous woman will be transformed by our makeover magicians into someone of value to society. Meg, that's it. You could get a makeover. Miss Takanawa, over here. Oh, my daughter needs a makeover like there's no freaking tomorrow. <laughs> Hello? Hi, Mom! This new setting and the ongoing joke of Shut Up Meg have been a source of amusement for many viewers, even though it portrays her as a bullied outcast within her family. Hey, guys! Is everyone on the phone? Oh, I gotta go. Something's in the oven. I lost a shoe. No, no, don't leave me on the phone with her! Everybody spit on Meg! Stop! Stop! Got, ah, stop! Stop! <laughs> Given its popularity, there have been many instances of Shut Up Meg throughout the series. Here are the top five scenes. 1. Shut Up Meg in Star Wars Parody Season 8, Episode 20 In this Star Wars themed episode, Meg is depicted as a gigantic space monster and complains her lack of lines in the series. How come I never get any lines in these things? And Peter retorts with his signature phrase Shut up, Meg. Peter, how the hell did you get out there? 2. Shut Up Meg by Big Fat Peter Season 11, Episode 17 after being lost in a Canadian Peter? forest following a plane crash, Peter regresses to a primitive, non-verbal state. We might have to release Peter back into the wild. We're all gonna miss you, Dad! More than you know! What? My God, I... I think he's trying to talk to you. Say something else! Well, uh, okay, um, I, I love you, Dad. Peter suddenly regained the ability to speak, uttering those familiar words. Shut up, Meg! Shut up, Meg! Shut up, Meg! Hey, Dad! Yeah. You're back! Yeah. It was a miracle made by Meg's love, only to be met with her dad's harsh response. <laughs> is she... is she letting him drive? Three, shut up, Meg, with Lacey Shabbat, season seventeen, episode seven. Meg competes in Olympic qualifiers for biathlon, where she meets Lacey Shabbat, the original voice actor for Meg in seasons one and two. They exchange the freeze in a bid to outdo each other. You're going down, Meg. 
Lazy Chevere? That's right. This should be my Olympics. Shut up, Meg. No, you shut up, Meg. No, you shut up, Meg. <laughs> Look at all these trophies. Four. Shut up, Meg. You don't matter. Season 13, Episode 1. No, I'm not good at anything. Oh, Meg, I'm sure you're good at something. During a crossover with The Simpsons, Meg's already low self-esteem takes a hit when she sees Lisa's impressive room. Meg, you need to know that you matter. Lisa tries to uplift her spirits. But Peter's harsh words crush Meg's little confidence again. So say it. I matter. Louder! I matter! Shut up, Meg, you don't matter. Meg, I want you to have this. 5. Shut up, Meg, by Lisa from Season 13, Episode 1. So I want you to take this and shine. As it was time to depart, Lisa gave Meg her saxophone. You're amazing, and I will never be like you. I I'm not pretty, I'm not smart, I'm not talented. I have the same shoe size as Charles Barkley. My prom date was a scarecrow I stole, and he left as Meg starts else. to doubt the herself, of my hat Lisa so interjects with gentle words. Hey, hey! Shut up, Meg. This unique moment is the only warm and affectionate Shut Up Meg scene in the show. No luggage, cash full. Let's go. Shut up, Meg. Shut up, Meg. These are the top five Shut Up Meg moments from various seasons. Shut up, Meg. Which one is your favorite? Shut up, Meg. Shut up, Meg. No, you shut up, Meg. No, you shut up, Meg. While many fans enjoy the humor in Shut Up Meg, some viewers have raised concerns about the recurring theme of bullying a teenage character and argue for a more sensitive approach. What is your perspective on this matter? Shut up, Meg, you don't matter. <laughs>